Hello, brilliant minds. So, we've talked about how we don't really know the shape of our own galaxy, right? Well, it turns out it's kind of hard to get an accurate map when you're stuck inside the thing. Well, buckle up, because today we're kicking it up a notch and we're going to ask an even bigger question. Why we have no idea what our universe really looks like right now. Yeah, the whole universe. The shape, nature, the state of it. It's a mystery. And before you go thinking, oh, come on, surely we've got some idea. Just remember, everything you see in the sky is a giant cosmic rerun. Seeing the past. So let me break this down for you. When we look out into space, we're not seeing things as they are right now, but we're seeing them as they were. Like Betelgeuse, that big red star in Orion, it might have already gone supernova, but we won't see it until the light catches up. So even though we can see a whole bunch of stars and galaxies, we're seeing them as if they're millions or billions of years ago. The observable universe versus the whole universe. So here's another thing. We can only see a tiny piece of the universe. It's called the observable universe, and it's basically everything whose light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. Anything beyond that? Nope, can't see it yet, because its light hasn't hit us. It's like trying to judge how big your house is by peeking through a keyhole. Sure, you can see some furniture, maybe a cat lounging around, but there's a lot more that you just don't know. So let's go into our current models of the universe and the universe's shape. So science does have a few theories about the universe's shape. I know you've heard these before. Is the universe flat? Is it shaped like a giant cosmic donut? Okay, not the last one, but we've got three main ideas. Flat, so space just stretches out forever, flat as a pancake. Open, meaning that it's saddle-shaped, like a cosmic cowboy hat with a negative curvature. Or closed, meaning that the universe is like a giant ball, and if you went far enough, you'd loop back around, Pac-Man style. But here's the kicker. These models are based on data that's, like, really, really old. I mean, ancient. Because the universe is constantly expanding and changing, by the time the light from these galaxies reach us, they could have already morphed into something completely different. We're always looking at old information, so these models could be totally off. Light lag, a cosmic time capsule. So, light lag... Five, four, three. So, this lag in light is like playing No Man's Sky with a serious delay. Imagine if your game was 10 minutes behind real time, and everything you think you're, every time that you think you're scanning something, it's already moved or evolved into something else. That's basically what we're doing when we look out into the cosmos. We're trying to map out the universe's shape, but it's all based on th what things used to look like. Some galaxies might have crashed into each other, new stars might have formed, or entire regions might have disappeared. But we're still looking at snapshots from millions of years ago, like the universe's Instagram throwback. So, and then there's a plot twist. There's an entire chunk of the universe we'll never, ever see. It's called the Cosmic Event Horizon. So, this is the part of the universe that's expanding away from us so fast that its light will never reach us. Even if we hopped in a starship and flew at light speed, we couldn't catch up. Space itself is stretching faster than we could even travel. So, those parts of the universe, they're gone. Out of sight. Forever. It's like a No Man's Sky planet that despawned before you could even get there. Now, the forever changing universe. Even if we somehow manage to map the entire universe right now, let's say we send out probes to every corner of the universe one light year apart, it would still take forever for that data to get back. And by the time we did get that information, guess what? The universe would have already changed again. It's like trying to map the desert wind while the wind is blowing sand dunes all around. Good luck with that. So what we see today could be wrong tomorrow. What we think about the universe, what we think we know about the universe today could be completely wrong tomorrow. The universe is always expanding, always evolving, and we're stuck with outdated info because the speed of light can only travel so fast. Sure, we can make educated guesses based on what we've got, but ultimately, we're working with a cosmic game of telephone trying to make sense of messages from billions of years ago. 
So just to conclude, next time you're out stargazing or exploring in No Man's Sky or any other video game like this, just remember you're seeing history. The universe we think we know, it's only a reflection of what it used to be, not what it is right now. And that's kind of beautiful, isn't it? We're part of this constantly evolving, mysterious cosmos that keeps us guessing and keeps us exploring. So what do you think? Will we ever truly understand the shape of the universe? Or is it a puzzle that we'll never really be able to solve? Let me know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. And I hope that you are learning something new each and every single day.